Oh. All right, we had Carter shoot one of his shots and we see that his release is a little above his head. So I'm gonna put that at approximately 78 inches. Uh, the three point line to the backboard where the ball hits is approximately 240 inches as well. And since Carter hits the backboard in that video, we put the uh, maximum Y displacement as 126 inches. When we see it here, we see that the ball reaches a maximum a little above the backboard. So if I overlay the two images as such, we see that it reaches that peak at approximately 135 inches away in the X direction and about 13 feet or 156 inches uh, in the Y direction. So we could do a couple things with this. We put it into Desmos and uh, we see that if we plot the release highest point and backboard shots, it does not really look like a quadratic. Um, this may be due to uh, inconsistencies in measurement or we just got bad data as a whole. Um, anyway, so to do this, we uh, utilized vertex form, which is uh, applicable to quadratics. And the form is A times X minus H quantity squared plus K. So our vertex, as we saw before, was 135 inches in the X direction and 156 inches um, up in the Y direction. So I, we did two estimates here. Um, one starting from the release point and one starting from the uh, point where it hits the glass. For the backboard equation, we got um, negative 0 0.00272 times x minus the uh, times the other the uh, vertex, and we see that it pretty closely tracks the highest point in backboard as gravity would. Um, and if we overlay it, it's pretty pretty good. Um, but if we look at the release uh, equation, which is negative 0 0.00428, and then the rest of the vertex form, it, it tracks it with a little bit more inaccuracy at the backboard end, but is closer than the discrepancy uh, in the previous estimate. So now let's take the first derivative of this um, release estimate. If we use the chain rule or if we expand it out and then use the power rules and such, we get f prime of x is equal to negative 0.00856x plus 1.1556. If we set this equal to zero, we could possibly see a point where the derivative is either um, undefined or equal to zero, which means a maximum or a minimum. So. We set it equal to zero and we got X as 135 inches. Looks good for now, but is this a <clears throat> sorry, but is this a maximum or a minimum? So we plugged it into the second derivative formula. So we just took it one more time. A quick derivative tells us that F double prime of X is equal to negative 0 0.00856. And this means it's always concave down and that is a maximum. So if we look back here, it does look like a maximum because gravity is a negative parabola. Uh, 